average, people around the globe spend around three and a half hours on their phones every single day. And most of the time, that's for calls, texts, and endless scrolling. But you are smarter than that. You understand that time is money. And that is why today I really want to share with you these new side hustles that you can do from your phone and make several hundreds of dollars per day without requiring that you have any new skills than those that you already have, even if you think you have no skills. Trust me, anybody can do these. All right, so let's start with one that I am absolutely certain anybody can do. So if you've ever looked at your to-do list and thought, could I get paid for this? Well, with this app, you definitely can. That thought can become a reality. So whether you are super talented with uh, a wrench or a hammer, or if you have a talent for navigating IKEA's assembly guidelines, then your skills are in demand because you can help busy or not so handy neighbors with their tasks and errands from moving boxes to mounting TVs, your weekend fix it projects could turn into a nice side gig. And here I'm talking about TaskRabbit, which is an app that offers a large variety of opportunities that apply to anyone who's looking to just lend a hand for everyday task to your neighbors. You can clean homes, uh, which can earn between 95 to $177 per task, to more specialized things like IKEA furniture assembly or, um, uh, you know, mounting TVs or fixing the sink. And the rates depend a lot, uh, obviously, based on what you do, but you can make per hour typically between $20 to $50. So that can nicely add up, especially if you specialize in those more better paid tasks. And now if you're gonna say, well, Laura, I have no skill. I don't like to use my hands. I am more of an artistic person. Well, I have got you covered because this next one is also super easy because basically your smartphone gallery can become a nice potential for earnings for you as well. Because with these two apps, you are able to turn your digital snapshots into digital cash. <laughs> these platforms obviously are about selling your photos. And the whole point of these platforms is that they look for organic, authentic, natural, regular videos and pictures. So from that perfect cup of coffee to a spontaneous, I don't know, dance in the rain, those are the kind of photos that you can sell on these platforms. And you might be surprised to see your photos being used on websites, in marketing campaigns, or in ads. All right, so here I am talking about two apps specifically. One is called FOAP, F-O-A-P, and the other one is called I-M. I as in I and E-M, <laughs> not I-M. And while FOAP doesn't specifically mention how much you can make by selling photos there, on I-M you can tell that a photo gets sold between $279 to $314 and you make upwards of 50% of that. So regardless of whether you are a professional photographer or if you are just passionate about taking snapshots of everyday life, that could be a really great idea for you to basically use your phone to make more money right? The third one is also something that you can do as you go about your everyday because you can make your everyday grocery run into an income generating activity or mission, might I say. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right because these two apps that I'm going to share with you basically invite you to become uh, the eyes and ears of brands in local stores in your area. So this is basically an undercover operation that you would be doing for them to gather intelligence on product placement, on pricing, on promotions. So you are not just the consumer, you are also on an assignment, on a mission to support the company that is paying for that promotional activity. Except obviously you don't have a cloak or a dagger or anything like that. <laughs> You're basically just using your phone, okay? And here I'm talking about Observa and Field Agent. They are two apps that provide opportunities for anyone to earn money by completing very simple tasks like reviewing product prices or displays in stores. They are simple micro tasks that typically pay obviously by task and they don't make you millions, but you, instead of just paying when you go grocery shopping, you would making some money, sometimes up to $20 per task. So I think it's worth taking a look at them. Number four, this one is such a cool one. So have you ever thought that your selfies 
can sponsor your lifestyle. Well, with this app, that can actually happen. And this app turns um, your social media passion or habit into a way to make extra money. Stylinity is the app that I'm talking about. And basically, they are keen to buy selfies with product placement so that those can be used by brands in promotions and campaigns and so on and so forth. And they don't say specifically how much you can make, but I mean, getting paid to take selfies sounds like a pretty cool side hustle, doesn't it? All right, number five. This one I think is so, so important and I absolutely love it and I've never heard anybody talk about it. So you could be the really critical link in someone's major purchasing decision, particularly when they look to buy a car. This platform empowers anybody to become a trusted advisor because they would inspect vehicles and more, but let's talk more about cars, before they are bought by distant buyers. So basically what you would be doing is essentially driving to the place of the seller and validating what someone is actually buying and you're providing them peace of mind and ensuring quality and preventing regrets in the end of the day, right? So you are the on the ground expert and the critical eye that they can hire to get that peace of mind. And this platform that I'm talking about is called we go look. You can use it on your phone and it focuses on providing services such as inspecting cars before purchase, as I said. And they uh, call the people who work with them lookers. <laughs> and a looker can typically make between uh, 15 to 30 dollars per look. And this look wouldn't take more than 15 to 30 minutes. So I think you know, the rate is pretty nice. However, you want to make sure that you don't sign up for jobs that are very, very far away from the place where you are, because obviously then you would have to cover the costs for the gas and the cost for your time. And that might not make it that profitable at the end of the day. So be careful and choose the tasks that are as close to your house as possible. Number six, this one literally makes making money a walk in the park unintended. <laughs> so here I'm talking about combining your love for animals, particularly dogs, with the joy of the outdoor. So if you love walking, then here's an idea for you because you can make money literally by walking new furry friends. Okay, yes, <laughs> you guessed it. I'm talking about becoming a dog walker. And you could do that with apps like WAG or Rover because they can make your walk in the park a lot more lucrative, especially in busy metropolitan areas, because on average, dog walkers can earn $20 per half an hour walk, with obviously possibilities to learn more if you offer daycare services, boarding services, or longer walks. So you can build a nice solid reputation in your neighborhood and you can have long-term recurring customers. Number seven. This one has to do with also improving your health. So if you are on a journey to take your 10,000 steps every day, then why not use this platform that literally pays you to walk? I mean, really, it sounds like a joke, but it's not. Because basically what this app does is convert your daily movement into currency that can buy you more fitness stuff, not just more motivation. <laughs> so they don't give you actual money, but they will give you digital coins that you can use to buy gear, to buy gadgets, and obviously improve your health. And here I'm talking about Sweatcoin. They are an app that I actually tried a while back when I did a challenge, and you can definitely earn quite a bit, and it motivates you to keep walking. It incentivizes fitness by paying you to walk. All right, so basically you convert every step into that digital currency that then you can use to buy all sorts of stuff that you might have just paid for with your own money. So I think it's worthwhile, especially if you are, as I said, on that journey to get your 10,000 steps in every day. Now, this next one is much more suitable for students or recent graduates because you could transform last semester's study sessions into this semester's money because I've got for you a platform that not just helps you declutter, <laughs> 
but it helps you maximize returns on your used textbooks. It's super simple, obviously super sustainable, because you would be able to pass on your knowledge and your textbooks to somebody who can reuse that. So you would be selling your used textbooks with this platform, which is called Book Scooter, and you would be able to earn some extra money for, I don't know, some coffee in the morning or if you want to buy new textbooks. They don't say specifically how much you would earn because obviously it depends on the type of book and how much it is in demand, but also on how used it is and the condition. But you know, why not sell it if you're not using it anymore? Number nine. This one has to do with your car and with the great experience of sharing. Whether you have a classic roaster, you have a family SUV, you can make money with your car. And no, here I'm not talking about becoming an Uber or Lyft or something else driver. This has nothing to do with using your time. You can transform your car or your driveway into a great way to make money because with Turo, you are able to rent out your vehicle and be paid for that. And it depends obviously on where you live and what kind of car you have. And I'm gonna link below a calculator that you can use to assess how much money you could make if you were to make your car available on Turo. But I mean, thinking that something that you already invested in and that you thought was just a sunk cost can make you money without you having to lift even one finger and do that just from your phone, I think is a pretty nice opportunity. And I have checked for Europe, a regular car, if you rent it occasionally, could make you even up to $10,000 per year. So I think it's not a bad deal and you should take a look at that. All right, you guys, that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope this video was helpful. Like it if you did, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and share with anyone in your circle, friends or family or anyone you think could benefit from making money with these apps from their phone. And if you want even more ways to make money and more platforms, I'm going to link down below a ebook that we have put together with so many more platforms that are validated that you can use to make money online. Thank you again, and I'll see you soon. Bye.